well, I'm just going to give him a brake testing rigor workout with the Sty H, he's 50M1, 50 BMG, uh, shooting uh, 650 ADI FMJ projectiles at around 2800 feet per second. Here it is with the factory Sty brake. Here's a Barrett M95 or M99 brake, a 50 BMG brake. It's less pleasant to be behind than the style brake, which isn't very nice either with the amount of cush, concussion and gas and stuff that hits you in the face. Anyway, here it is here. As you can see, they're about the same. Here is a T6B. It screws um, straight onto the stire using the factory stire lock nut. It's much nicer to shoot, not as much concussion as the other two. So it's got a little bit more recoil. As guys really like seeing them without a brake, we'll see what happens without a brake. They'll, all the other ones will probably fall off the bench, but anyway, here we go. They got a fair bit of recoil, eh? So that's roughly how they ended up um, in about that position after one fell off. You can certainly see that the 50 BMG recoils without a brake on it. So there's a the T6B next to a loaded round. There's the factory style aluminium brake. And there's the Barrett M99 brake next to a loaded round and there's the rifle as I mentioned before it's certainly much nicer using the T6 brake than the factory Barrett M99 brake I noticed when I had a 107A1 that the factory Barrett brake was much nicer on that as well you could fire a lot of rounds without getting beaten up with the Barrett and the style brake if I'm doing a lot of rounds at the range, especially with the roof over my head, I use a blast shield to protect myself, otherwise it feels like you're being slapped in the head. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.